was to get the rest of the hair off and then put some flame to the skin so the rest of a lot of this uh, what's called chaff or uh, scarf can easily be scraped off with scrapers. But this guy's going to go on the barbecue over there so we don't need to get him any cleaner than necessary. Most of, most of his hide will be hide side down when he's cooked. Okay, next thing is we're going to start cutting them. First thing we do is we have to make a cut around his anus here. Make a round cut around there and come right across the top and down to about here. And then what we do, some people don't do this, but what we do is we cut through the breastbone with a hat with a saw, a meat saw, and that's right here. Let, let people get in and see and watch you cut. You guys want to see this. Well, I didn't want you guys to know if this girl didn't want to come out. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. We're here. We made it. I do need a steal. Do you need a steal? Yeah. That hair is on it. Can you get a steal? I got it. Bro, hi. A steel, what do you mean? It's a uh, sharpener. Sharpening oh. steel. Oh. Oh. going through the brisket here. And once I'm through that, no steel find it. Let me get you a blade. It's okay, it's not bad. It's just Where's Amy? Oh, you'll enjoy this. But There's an Amy's. But. <laughs> You're like awesome, awesome. Guys. That is a mighty sharp knife. <laughs> sharp. Oh, that's all so you're, are you cutting the intestine? Just cutting around it. Okay, so you're sure you're not cutting the intestine on the inside? All right, did you make the cut around the... I did, I should have waited for you. Okay, sorry about that. No, <laughs> oh, that's too late. All right. Well, you could try it anyway. Yeah. All right, well, I kind of need a, somebody that wants to be involved with the process as a volunteer. No, no I didn't get it. Okay. Well, that'd be my wife. I'll volunteer him. Over here, back here. Americana going on over here. Amy. Thank no. you. All right, need a volunteer? I can hold that. Somebody. Okay. okay. Water for it. Right. You got it. Oh. All right, right. this is the. You have to this is a critical water. cut around the, the anus, and so um, I need you to stick your finger in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm resetting my volunteer. Okay. Right. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I didn't set it up quite right. But I've done that with chefs quite a bit, and I have them stick their finger in, and then. <laughs> tell them thank you. <laughs> they pull it out and then they say, now what? And I said, you know, you can tell people that you've had your finger in the <laughs> 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 That's full, sorry. That's a big one. <laughs> I don't know if you could. Okay. I'll let you have you ever used yeah. to the thumb being in, the, in an anus? What? Are you used to your thumb being in an anus? Oh, the Libertarian Party? Yeah. We do that. Thumbs up our bottom. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A couple people took them. 
Saw, so, yeah, that makes it easier. Around that. All right, see now he's opened up the breastbone first down here because as soon as he gets through this, the guts are going to want to fall out. And if the breastbone is in the way, then it, you have a much more difficult time. So that's why we cut that breastbone first. Hey, Sam. I only need the, the well saw and a board. Oh. I don't. I got the hand saw here. Do you want to do it with the hand saw? Sure. We did the last two of them the other day. All right. Joe changed his mind. <laughs> Did you talk about what the parts are? This, uh, not in any great detail. Alright, well this this is a male pig, so this is urethra. Yep, that's his urethra. It's not actually that's the tube that his penis would come out through. We're just in the interest of science, we're gonna tell you what the parts are. Now Joe's gonna cut through. Mixing in feces with it, no? Yeah. No, the we cut that down, so usually that falls. Yeah. Falls through. And I don't actually go too far in there. Yeah. You just go through. Yeah. If you keep sawing, sometimes you'll Get you'll cut it. So are we gonna get splashed here in a moment? No. <laughs> the idea is for him not to cut into the intestine. <laughs> But just so everybody knows, if I mess it up, it happens. <laughs> you, um, it's just like shooting pigs. Sometimes you don't hit them right in a good spot. Do you save the skin of the intestines for sausage? We don't. We don't. We're not there yet. I mean, that we'd like to, and it's, it makes sense to do that, but we just don't do it yet. Wow. What's that? With all the fat, normally, you, what do you do with it other than just uh, we'll take the fat. Joel will show you. There's what's called leaf fat that hangs yeah, inside. That's for lard. It's it's beautiful, beautiful oh, yeah. clean stuff. What's and that? It's there. He didn't pee, man. No, and you always want to cut that out because that that breaks easy, that's and then you have a mess. Bladder. That's the bladder. <laughs> and you know what? Some guys do with this. I've actually seen Brian Paulson do this with this. Empty this out and clean it, and then use it as uh, stuff it actually with with sausage. Mm. And the oh, Italians okay. call it something. Mm. Don't we use an exact ball that it takes letters? <laughs> don't we what? I don't know. Water ball? It'd be a small soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Mountain oysters? Are we going to have the... No, this guy was castrated. Oh, okay. And if you don't know what castrated sorry. means, it's when we uh, take his testicles off as okay. a, yeah. a and young... Yeah, see right there, I did very young pig. Yeah. yeah. So, then you just cut everything it. out that... Touch touches it. People that don't grass. know how old you guys make a guess, how old do you think Joe is? Sixteen. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen. Oh my. Sixteen or seven. Seventeen, eighteen. Twelve. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Make somebody a good son-in-law, wouldn't he? Yeah. How old are you, Joe? Sixteen. Oh. Sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, twelve. How long have you been doing this? I have a beautiful wow. young daughter. <laughs> Whoa. You want a tub? Yeah. Oh, I see. Is that the? Do you eat any other stuff. internal parts like the liver? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kidneys. <laughs> Will the guts get fed to the other pigs? No, the, do with, with the chickens, we don't feed them the night before they, they're butchered. Okay. You end up with, uh, right. with a pile of guts that has almost no feed or grass or any poop in it. So then you can feed that to the, to the pigs, but this there's so much stuff in it, and they, they really don't eat it. So that just gets composted. Did you compost it? Yeah. Okay. What you got there? You want to run and grab me a white tub? Yeah. Throw this stuff in. Hey Joe, let me get a picture of that. Kidneys. 
So the kidneys are useful. Uh, maybe we'll have some kidney soup tonight. That's tripe, yeah? No, this is the no, down spleen. That's spleen. This is the spleen. Can I have that uh, yeah. call fat? Oh, you want that? Yeah. I think I can buy a piece. <laughs> is that, what, what's that? That's Cut it down. Is that the leaf fat? Too late. No, this is called call fat. <clears throat> oh, it's pretty. What do you do with that? You can take that call fat and you can actually wrap a meatloaf with it. Because it's nothing but fat. There's very little sinew in it. Uh -huh. Text the meat. It will hold the meat together and then it will flavor it. Oh, this yeah. is the wow. call fat. It's really nice stuff. Wow. Wait, it's like a membrane. Membrane. What's it called? Call fat. C-A-U-L. C-A-U-L? C-A-U-L. There's the liver. What does it do in the pig? Does it wrap around something? It goes around his stomach. Oh, okay. Uh, and like is there a doctor in the house? Mm -hmm. There is a doctor in the house. Not the right kind. Not the right kind. <laughs> you can make it up though, so <laughs> nobody else would know. Doesn't it have lymphatic vessels in it? There you go. Maybe. <laughs> lymphatic. Wouldn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this uh, is the liver. <laughs> And we always want to look at the liver when we get it out of the animal for to check. We can really tell a lot about the health of the animal by looking at the liver. Mm -hmm. If you see any worms in it, or what they call flukes, mm -hmm. a fluke is actually a worm, then you got to question the, the health. health of the animal. Um, they're all going to come in contact with the parasites that cause flukes, mm -hmm. but if they have enough nutrient density in their pasture, their bodies will expel them. Mm -hmm. It's animals that are in <coughs> confinement that are just getting a, a single, a mono feed. Oh, no, no. Oh, you're not going to throw it No, no, okay. there's just some blood on it. Right. Right. So Joe's already cut the bile sac off of it. No, he hasn't. No. There's the bile sac there right there. Mm -hmm. And that, I'm not going to take a chance on breaking it. Well, maybe I will. Okay, I didn't break it, so that's a good thing. Because it's got green stuff in it that's mm -hmm. really bad. Bile. 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 Bitter. Yes, it is. So that's a good, good liver Beautiful. for yeah. food. Yeah. Well, how I'd hard like would to make? Fluke I'd like to make some uh, liver oh, sausage out of that. A, a fluke is. It, so they can be a uh, quarter of an inch long. Okay. Anybody else want to do it wrong? You don't want them. It up. No. Yeah. You don't want them in your liver. Is that like the thumb and nose? So that's nice <laughs> and clear. <laughs> is that like the that thumb and That could be eaten. Quite no, right now. No. <laughs> or some people. Well, that's something I do all the time. Why don't we, why don't we have yeah. it today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the texture? It. The it's, awesome. it's the best tasting kind of organ. <laughs> the heart is the least uh, yeah. offensive organ. It's like liver, I don't know. Liver, you don't know. Right. Just the texture. Yeah, the, you don't like the texture of the liver? No. Well, the, the heart is more musty. Yeah. Yeah. There's more muscle. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's all I want. We, we can slice the heart. Heart and the stomach and lungs. Yeah. Have you ever, ever eaten the lungs? Never eaten the lungs. Dad might actually. On beef I have, but This here is the heart. And you can see there's a cluster of valves on the top of it. And Joe, when he stuck this pig, that's what you call when you put the knife in its throat, he just clipped that, that cluster right there. And that's why the pig bled out so fast. And the heart's good for eating, too. It's good for eating. Those are sweet bread. Do you want two? Uh, no. This is the lungs. Oh, sure. Yeah. Do you know? Let's see it. Yeah, I think so. That's when I think we should try it. I think we should try it. My kids really like when I do this. Oh, yeah. This is the lungs. And if you've never felt lungs, you ought to feel them. You ought to feel them. Because they're very much like our lungs. But let me show you what we do. Oh, cool. Whoa! Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> now me and the pig are one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I did that with an air mattress last night. <laughs> <laughs> so now he can be a clarinet player. <laughs> we can get a Muslim to do that, I guess. <laughs>